Hey friends, Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Frost and Fire. Little reminder of the rules that we've got for our fledgling community here on the mechanoid planet. So to cover some feedback from YouTube comments before I get started, one, uh, Thor saw that Rartronka, which is Raptor's lover, has died. Just, you know, she didn't die on this map tile, but she just died. So I don't really know what that's about, but it's odd. Will Hoover mentioned that the stools I have in my uh, throne room, uh, they could be upgraded to chairs, which have an inherently higher beauty than the stools. Uh, and that would allow for the uh, impressiveness of my throne room to increase. Uh, there's also the possibility of moving things like these steel shelves out and keeping the... Um, the drugs uh, elsewhere. And this would help with, uh, you know, freeing up some space. So there are multiple factors that go into throne room impressiveness. There is the wealth, the space, the beauty, and the cleanliness. Uh, cleanliness, you can't really change other than to sweep up. But the beauty is something that we can change with additional art. So right now we have one singular masterwork uh, small sculpture uh, but we could have Gabe, in his very, very limited free time, uh, crank out some additional art. Uh, we can also try to increase the beauty through um, uh, better better chairs, better tables. You know, everything that can be improved will be improved for the sake of that throne room. So we do have uh, a bunch of marble blocks to be able to make art. Uh, so on the steel art bench here, I'm going to make large sculptures out of said marble. Marble is the most beautiful uh, material to make art out of. If you take a look here at the marble blocks, uh, they have a beauty, they increase the beauty uh, 135% versus let's say sandstone, which is 110, or slate, which is 110, or granite, uh, if I have any granite, oh yeah, here's some granite, which is, uh, you know, zero, zero. Granite isn't a beautiful stone, I guess. So, for art, uh, marble is definitely the material of choice. I don't think that we're going to be able to do the uh, count ceremony anytime soon because we're pretty far off of, of having that oppressiveness. Uh, it depends. I mean, it's possible if I get like a legendary piano or something like that, maybe we'll get it. But um, there's also the, the possibility of... Um, Having Raptor gain Psy Focus for words of inspiration and trying to inspire uh, Bash, Gabe, or JD, who are our constructors, crafters, and uh, artists, in making something nicer. I've also accepted the Pogs and Bugs. Um, so we do have bugs down here that have just, I guess they've perished from Heatstroke. Um, there's a few, few bugs left here that uh, got up and have spawned from um, hives, but most of these hives are not reproducing due to maintenance. Uh, so what I'm going to need to do is just to do a bit of an attack and clear them out. One of the reasons I haven't done that yet is we have a psychic, psychic drone high, and I don't want to send my attackers here uh, only to have them have a mental break and get more injured by the bugs than is worth my time. But one of the huge advantages of this, of course, is that uh, we are going to get a lot of insect jelly, which is good currency. And, of course, the bug meat, which will, as long as we can get there before they spoil, which is the caveat, which will help to replace all of the nutrient-paced meals. Now, I wanted to remind everyone why I went with nutrient-paced meals. They are the most efficient food source that I can do. Um, pemmican and kibble would have lasted longer. Uh, that I won't argue against. Yes, if we ate pemmican or kibble uh for our pets the pemmican kibble would have not spoiled so quickly um and we were doing that it just takes a lot of manual labor to do so there is a cost in manual labor and there's also a cost in um in just uh uh you know there's also a cost in manual labor there's also a cost in the um in the nutrition itself it's about this you know it's about half as nutritious. Bang for your buck. So for all those reasons, that's why we were setting it up the way we were. Uh, it seems like a lot of these hives are reproducing 
Let me see when the next one reproduces. Because it's producing bugs about as fast as they die off. So we might, and now that the psychodrone has ended, we might in the morning want to make an honest attempt to wipe out as many bugs as we can. Because you, as you can hear, they are reproducing. In a, um, and that's just going to make it harder in the long run. Plus, uh, those bugs are going to spoil soon. So without, you know, if I don't end up killing them off... Um, you know, the, all that all that beautiful material gets ruined. Oh, hippie, are you an artist? Art nine and Gabe. Art nine. Oh, I guess. I guess I'm gonna have hippie do it. Cool. We'll have some hippie art. So once they all wake up, I'm gonna make an honest attempt to wipe these bugs out so that they don't uh, keep reproducing. There aren't too many of them right now. Uh, and then once we wake up, also people like Phoenix should, uh, here, let me consume a fine meal, uh, should immediately get past his, uh, his negative mood because, you know, we're no longer psychic drowned. So I'm going to have Raptor come down here too. Might not be the wisest idea due to the heat. He'll probably have heat stroke pretty quickly. But, um... More shooters, the better. Okay, we definitely have their attention. We're gonna back up. There's, uh... There's a, there's a few of them, right? There's... It's not empty. So there's a bit of, uh... A bit of killing these done. Fall back. Choke points are always good to utilize. And I'm going to fall. Oh, I meant to leave that open. It's fine that it's not, I suppose. I'm going to go around and start clearing out the hives while these bugs march to my kill box. That works for me. I'm going to have my shooters come around and, and fight them as they come back. I do have to keep an eye on uh, Raptor's heat stroke, though. All right, Bash goes south. Phoenix will go north. And we'll chase some of the Mega Spiders. Now, is any of these... I should check if any of them reproduce really soon because I don't want them reproducing while I'm here bashing them. Um, yes, but not soon enough that it worries me. Most of them are within multiple hours, or or at least about a day. So you do have some bugs that are going to go to the kill box. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to send my... My shooters in... into the base to go deal with that well uh, Phoenix and Bash clean out the rest of these hives yeah 23 hours is I think the soonest that any of them reproduce so that's definitely a non-issue all right my shooters are gonna go to the kill box And just like two hives left. Three hives left, something like that. Alright, I think that's it. So the avoid zone that I had made obviously is no longer valid, so I'm going to remove it. I'm going to tell uh, Raptor to stay fortified. And everybody else is going to be unrestricted. Raptor staying fortified because of his uh, carry weight or his um, insulation, rather, doesn't it won't really allow him to be out for very long because he'll uh, he'll overheat. Pods have arrived. The power claw and the bionic leg, as a result of killing off all the hives, 
I'm actually going to advance towards the Mega Spiders. These Mega Spiders are also heat stroked, so they're really not much of a threat, as they are barely conscious as they are. Um, numbers, enemies. So we got a Scarab. I'll set these guys to hunt too, so that we finish them off. And then these two Spellipedes. Right, Raptor's already getting hot, so I'm going to have him turn around. And then the uh, the real work is going to be to haul uh, the uh, the Mega Spiders in before they decay. So I'll probably set everybody to Super Hauling, noting that uh, Phoenix is on 2 Haul, because he'll have to be put back to 2 Haul. Come on, Spellipedes. Keep on moving. Gabe here is pretty pissed too, so I'm gonna have him fall back. JD is not much better mood-wise. All right, so that is over. Uh, the bionic, the power claw is probably not an object I'm going to be installing, uh, for the reason that uh, power claws will physically slow you down. They are very, very, very powerful melee weapons. They do 11 DPS. Uh, which compares to the mace at about a, about 11, just shy of 11, or the plasma sword. The plasma sword does actually more damage than 9, um, because it also has a chance to set things on fire for bonus damage, which is not calculated in the melee DPS. So some of the DPS of the plasma sword is not visible. I would say it's more like 12. Uh, and then, of course, if you set fire, this isn't really applicable to reapers, but if you set fire to organic tar targets, uh, they start to flee, and they it's sort of a stunning effect because they aren't really able to chase you. Um, but, uh, yes. So, some of the benefits of the Plasma Sword aren't really obvious in just looking at the DPS alone, in other words. So, the trouble here is going to be trying to butcher up all of these... Um... Oh, Phoenix is cooking. Um, no, how about not? Uh, the trouble is going to be trying to butcher up all of these uh, Mega Spiders uh, before they spoil and turning them into NPM before the, you know, all of it spoils. A freeholder of United Cities is making a request of me. Um, Grump will join me. Whoa, definitely not. Uh, I could get Honor or Goodwill. Goodwill wouldn't be terrible. But um, 23 security bots, so how long do I have to accept this? Five days? Okay, if I am going to accept this, it's going to be as late as possible so that I can get as much hauling of the Mega Spiders as I can. Um, of course, the the jellies are worth a lot. It's pretty valu valuable, but they, don't, they won't decay in the same time frame that the Mega Spiders will. The unrestricted animal hauling should no longer allow pets in here either so maverick should get out in other words i don't want them eating the raw bodies only the npm so before i construct anything else for my throne room i'm going to have raptor spend as much time trying to gain up his psi focus so that i might be able to inspire my craftsmen to get the best possible, um, uh, the best possible crafts out of, you know, the effort put in. Uh, this door should also be closed. I'm gonna sort of micromanage. Oh no, wrong one. I'm gonna sort of micromanage my guys in hauling the mega spiders first because, of course, they yield the most. Uh, another thing that I should do is um, make my slag storage a little bit larger so that we can have my pets be helpful. Uh, and then what else I could do is to have a temporary dumping stockpile here. So copy this butchery setting, paste it here, and have this be just low so that my pets um, temp butchery so that my pets can haul corpses for me too. Uh, because the, the pets... Oh, actually, they're unrestricted. Okay. The pets will have access to haul the insect jelly and the uh, the corpses. Um, now, the other question is, 
I probably need to remove the insect jelly. So in this butcher here, what I'm going to be doing is putting the insect jelly here instead of here uh, so that the pets can't eat the insect jelly either because that would be, uh, well, that would be bad. Okay, Bash, even though he's um, pretty well insulated, he's still getting heat stroke. It is pretty hot. But this is a lot of good insect meat, and I think it will yield a whole lot of um, whole lot of nutrient paste meals for my community, which is great. Just to speed things up, I'm going to move the hoppers just to the left side where the butchery is, because honestly, I should have done that to begin with. Um, let's deconstruct this hopper. Copy settings, paste settings, paste settings, just min-maxing. I had the steel, so that's not much of an issue. All right, we are down to the last of our simple meals. So Gabe here needs to no longer super haul so he can tend the farm. Uh, Hippie is going to turn some of the insect meat, the foul meat, into chem fuel, which is fine because we're going to need that. We want uh, a certain amount of chem fuel stocked up. About 100 is what we've uh, decided is the magic number. And we have hauled... I would say probably the majority of the insects over here, which is great. Uh, before Bash goes to sleep, I'm going to have him cook a little bit so that uh, no one starves. Not having uh, not having prisoners is kind of nice, though. I, I've got to say. And in fact, I can treat this as a hospital room um, until I need it as a bedroom, so... I'm going to uninstall this bed and put the vitals monitor between them, and that could be my, like, hospital room. I know I don't have a proper hospital, but, um, wait, what? Is this for the fine meal? Because simple meals, I don't think, yeah, this is for fine meals, okay. That's, that's okay. Um, I haven't really needed, uh, a dedicated proper hospital yet. And um, I'm not going to really sweat about getting one until uh, it's absolutely necessary because it is a it is a sizable investment to um, to earmark. I'm going to make sure to get keep Gabe on that. Raptor. Oh, wow. An insulting spree that immediately ends with a bunch of cracks to... My, um, could, could we not, guys? All right, JD is going to go tend to them. Actually, JD, before you do that, just haul a spellopede and then tend to them. All right, I believe that's the last batch of chem fuel. And, it, yep, it is. So Hippie's going to help to haul the bugs. Pretty nasty cracks. Two thirds of uh, Raptor's leg got knocked off, and one of his toes got three or five eighths knocked off. So it was uh, that was quite the social fight, in other words. Uh, what I'm gonna do is not allow them to bed rest though, because I do want them to work. Might sound cruel, but. We have a limited window of being able to butcher all the bugs, and, well, I don't want to waste that. Alright, so the next person that goes for meals, simple meals. Oh, you know what? In fact, we need to cook up some simple meals. No one's going to be able to eat until we do that. So I'm going to have Raptor start cranking those out. A lot of these corpses are, uh, Bash, you should start butchering them. A lot of these corpses are uh, set to decay. 
So JD is getting a simple meal. He is going to be assigned to NPM. I'm going to forbid all these meals so that he has to go make some NPM. Nope. I guess he wasn't he wasn't act actually planning on eating. He just wanted to store it on his person. Oh no, he's pretty hungry. Okay, so what I need to do is uh, turn on the nutrient paste dispenser because he wasn't making NPM because the dispenser was off. And here we go. The same sort of rapid fire meal production, but now with three hoppers that are very easily refillable. Iterative improvements is the name of the game. Just make everything a little bit better every time, and well, that's what learning's called, right? So all of those meals that we sadly had lost are all getting replaced now. We just need to make sure to haul them to our freezer. Thank goodness for this quest that had us kill bugs, right? It's weird to be happy about that, I suppose. And then I only have a certain amount of time until these meals themselves need to get to my freezer. And the longer they sit out here, not frozen, the more they'll rot. And their rot time of nutrient paste meals are pretty quick. So I think actually I'm going to um, start to move these meals now. So that we don't end up with, uh, with mass... Uh, mass meal rot next um, solar flare. It's going to be hard to avoid that because they just like to rot, but we'll do what we can. All right. So my Everybody should be hauling. Oh, you know what? One one thing I could do. I know people don't love when I caravan them, but uh, oh boy, it would be fast. Simple meals are light. So I could just load them all up. I think in this instance, uh, well, I hope you all forgive me. Okay, so that's all that she could carry, but she can make multiple passes. <laughs> oh, is that ever nice? We actually might even fill up this freezer. Yeah, I might need to, uh, to have this freezer spill over to a neighboring area or something. We'll see. Because it is pretty full now. All right, remove from caravan. And I do believe that is probably all the bugs. Uh, so if I go to numbers here and go to uh, animal corpses. Uh, well, most of these uh, animal corpses are rotted. No, there's a f there's still a few mega scarabs in here, I guess. Uh, but staring at those rotted animal corpses, um, I feel like there's something that could be done about that. Done. All right, we do have this bionic leg now. Um, taking a look at uh, it's probably due for Phoenix. 
And I'm going to install that right leg right now. Because it's nearly bedtime and, uh, well, that's the perfect time to do surgeries and the like. Okay, let's operate. Now, Raptor is injured, but his, all of his injuries is to his legs, so it's not reducing his um, ability to uh, do surgeries or anything like that. Okay, well, they're almost all removed. And then, as soon as this surgery is done, every single one of my characters will have at least one bionic leg, and what that means to me is that I will be able to manufacture uh, flak vests and protect my guys a little bit better once I research uh, flak clothing. So flak armor, I would need to research plate armor first, which is not that bad. I'll get that done. Uh, because I think that's more important than the crypto sleep caskets that we had previously queued up. Okay, there's one corpse left. Uh, a little disturbed sleep here, but that's okay. Instead of digging at the deep drill, let's get that last corpse gone. You got it eventually. All right, then if I go to the animal corpses, I see that there's just one mega scarab left. That is the last mega scarab yet to be butchered. Numbers is a very, very useful, uh, like the little UI. So then we're going to start hauling the insect jellies, which is great because that is worth so much money. And then we should also, I'm going to break down this steel door and, uh, and allow this stockpile to spill over a little bit further because I think we're going to be actually legitimately out of room for, uh, for our meals. So I'm going to wait, Phoenix, it's going to be you. You are going to be my NPM man. Getting the rest of this foul meat. Oh, yep. So here we did have one Mega Scare brought. I probably could have like micromanaged this even further to not have a rotted Mega Scare, but one little scarab is not that much meat. I feel like I did a, a pretty good job of making sure that I, uh, you know, I utilized as much of the insect meat as I possibly could. To the point where I'm I'm now legitimately worried about not having enough room for all the uh, meals. Now, unfortunately for me, uh, Phoenix here is still anesthetized, so he's not really able to haul. So actually, he is a pretty bad contender to do the NPMing, so I'm gonna have him go back to normal. And let's see, whoever eats next will, um, will be my uh, next NPM maker. Oh, and here, some free kibble. Cool. It's not bad. Who's it gonna be? I have no idea. All right, let's get rid of this door so that we don't have spoiled meals. The cooler should be plenty fine to cool down this entire area. No problem. It's going to be slightly warmer until it catches up. It's hovering around freezing here. Come on, coolers. I said you'd be okay. Um, hmm. All right. Uh... Let's put the door back. Let's also crank up some more chem fuel. That's way more than I'm I'm intending to make, but it's so that we can um, Yeah, okay. It's already starting to rot. 
God, it is such a temperature sensitive thing. So yeah, we won't expand it. Got it. Uh, what I'm going to do is all of this insect meat is going to go. Uh, we are going to try to uh, to gift some stuff out to neighbors, I guess, as odd as that sounds. Um, because it's going to rot on us anyway, so we might as well make the best out of it. So the tainted, the sort of broken down clothing and tainted clothing, I'm going to, the tainted clothing doesn't matter gifting wise because it, it, um, uh, tainted clothing isn't really worth anything to anyone, but, uh, I'm going to do it anyway. The Altec skull cap I'll keep, but the, some of the old tainted clothing here I can, I can gift out as well. Uh, so there we are. It's not, not it's not much, but, uh. It's what I'll be sending. We can also, I guess, keep the nutrient paste meals in here, but this is not uh, frozen either. So uh, with that in mind, let's uh, kick on some additional freezers. Okay, I'm going to forbid transportation uh, because... God, it is hot. We're barely keeping ahead. So what's left? The Altex Rove? That's all that's left. Okay, so this is staying frozen. I'll turn on all the freezers. That's staying frozen, and we're gonna give this to the machinists. Just as a nice welcoming gift. They received a gift, they're a little happy about it. So this is keeping up, just barely, mind you, just barely, but it is keeping up. It is frozen in there. Uh, and then my normal freezer is fine because I had a lot more coolers. I'm going to flick on uh, as many coolers as I have in my base, because even my regular base here is getting pretty, pretty hot. Oh, Maverick just lost his ability to attack. And then I'm going to try my very, very, very best to use up as much of this uh, foul meat for insect, uh, for uh, chem fuel, uh, before it, uh, uh, before it spoils. But that's... That's a tall order. Wow, my pets have been hauling slag. A lot of slag, so I will expand that. Some of that might not be my pets, it might just be that I'm super hauling, so I'm gonna reduce the super hauling back down. That might have been the cause. Okay, yep, follow me to start to rot. But my my freezers are looking pretty good. So Gabe, 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 Gabe. Gabe's like, don't pick on me, man. Yeah, I'm picking on you. Um, you are going to haul these meals. The other freezer seems to be frozen and holding. It probably is because it's nighttime and it's a little cooler at nighttime. It's one in the morning. Uh-uh, you put that down. All right, now he's going to go make some additional NPM and fill that freezer up. Because a lot of this, a, a lot of, oh, my bad. A lot of this uh, meat here is just going to spoil before I'm able to chem fuel it, so I might as well use it. Even if these meals do spoil, an attempt will be made. I can also store these in my regular stockpile, too. Um... Okay, that's probably good. There's a little, there's some hours left on the those meals up there. Uh, those um, uh, foul meat, rather. So, I think we're okay. And then all I need to do is to haul these in nutrient paste meals. Um, oh, I see why we're not making uh, chem fuel, because it broke down. All these nutrient paste meals to my other freezer as just a way to preserve them. Because we, we have room, you know, we're not running out of room. All right, so this frozen, this is frozen. I think I made pretty good use. Now we do have a lot of insect jelly left to haul, but uh, you know, pretty good use. So Raptor's gonna sit on the throne until, eh, let's, let's give us throne speech. 
Uh, he's going to sit in the throne until he has enough for words of inspiration, and hopefully we can inspire some art or a piano or something like that to improve our chances for um, the best possible, most impressive uh, throne that we can have. That is the hope. It is an inspirational speech. And uh, JD got inspired for a shoot frenzy as a result. Cool. That's awesome. It was that inspiring. Uh, so if we take a look at the needs here, uh, inspirational speech plus eight, and that's going to last me a little while. So thank you, Raptor. That's awesome. Unfortunately, I really wanted a, uh, like a creativity inspiration and not a shoot frenzy, but, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So I think what I'm going to do is whoever eats, oh, it's Bash now. At least, at least it keeps, I, I'm not picking on the same person over and over and over. So uh, the remainder of my insect meat is going to go to 10 meals. Done. And that would be almost all the insect meat being taken care of. Sweet. And then I can uh, unforbid that good stuff. And now when there's space in here, we can move these meals over. Uh, these are barely, barely staying frozen, though. I'm, like, kind of biting my lip. About that. Because it's teeter-tottering. Oh, man. But the, the, the problem here is if I added more uh, coolers, the act of adding more coolers would make this hot enough to destroy all the meals. It's sort of like, uh, damned if I do, damned if I don't. Uh, the other thing I could do is put more meals in the freezer that's going to stay frozen, which at this point is actually not staying all that cool. Like this freezer is raising above um, uh, frozen temperatures too, just because it's 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 a hundred. It, I mean, it's boiling out. It's literally boiling. We you could depending on the atmospheric pressure, you could boil water at this temperature. But the other problem is the more that people go into this freezer, the more the doors open. Um, yeah, let's do that. The more these doors open, the uh, the warmer it gets. So it's probably in my best interest not to open those doors. Another thing that I could do is try to cool down this tunnel. Um, but there's not a good place to put the chimney. But I'm going to do it anyway, even though the chimney... I'd have to put the chimney here, so... Yeah, let me cool down this tunnel and try to get this tunnel, like, frozen. But this, I just want to add, is, like, a terrible, terrible, terrible solution that I do not like at all. Because it's it's temporarily going to make this worse. I just... I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to do anything to keep that from spoiling. Uh, JD, you work on the other one. Bash, you work on that one. And we have a power shortage, or we have a power feedback up there. It's part of the home zone, so that, that's fine. Uh, the old monument can be removed from home zone. And this should be set to, I'll just set it to like ridiculously cold temperatures. It would have made a little bit more sense to push it one tile over, like here, but whatever. It's now flush with the wall. And the idea here is if we... Okay, yeah, follow me. If we super cool this tunnel, then when this door opens, it's not letting a bunch of warm air or cold... You know, it's not letting the temperatures equalize in a bad way. It should be better this way. And in fact, I'm going to tell my coolers in here to try to get as cold as they can to hedge against the, the hot daytime. But we're almost, we're, we're getting through the Jagas season. We're getting through the summer, so soon it will be less of an issue. Just bite my lip till then.
We have a little bit more cloth. 200 and... 313 of it. So let's use it. There. That's about 313 worth of cloth. And then we're making one more bionic leg. And that's probably going to be the last bionic leg I make for a while. I'm going to be giving this one to Bash. The brawlers benefit from bionic legs just as much as shooters because the faster you move, the better your dodge is for brawling. So uh, it's really important for your brawlers to have good movement speed as that will keep them alive. So there's the bionic leg. Uh, let's turn off this bench altogether for now. And we're going to turn our attention towards... Raptor, can you inspire? Yeah, you can inspire yet, but soon. So here comes some uh, art from Hippie. The drug benches. I'm not really sure what to do about them. Because there's not really a good spot for them. Because if I put them out here, the crabs have access to them. And I don't really want the crabs to, uh, to consume. I guess I could put them in Raptor's bedroom, but then it disturbs his sleep periodically. Um, I can think on that. I could also uh, build a dedicated bedroom or shrink someone else's bedroom or something like that. You know, I have some options here. So now it's it's nearly the boiling temperature again. And as you can see, our um, this frozen corridor keeps this food much, much, much cooler. And actually, I, I guess I'm more worried about um, this, my primary freezer now at this point. Okay, so we have words of inspiration, and I am going to try to inspire Bash. If I could inspire Bash for creativity, he would be able to make uh, some something glorious. Where is he, though? Oh, here he is. Uh, and he got in his surgery. Okay, well, that backfired on me. Well, more insect jelly. That's always nice. So I guess what I'll do is, if I can't inspire Bash for creativity, what I'm going to have him do is to build a bunch of uh, nice dining room chairs and then put the nicest chairs into my throne room, which doubles as my dining room. Uh, and then that also means that JD here should not be constructing for a bit, and he's on Construct 3, so that works out. Because it should be only my best constructor making the chairs. But I think JD is about to not have work. Uh, JD, is there something else you could be doing? Oh, I didn't have enough cloth. Well, that sucks. We're not completely done with that. Yeah, we're missing I three. Trying to think if there's anything for JD to be doing. Making any stone blocks. Um, he could be... Um, he could be hauling this back. Stone blocks are pretty scarce here. I know I bought a whole bunch of... Uh, I bought a whole bunch of the uh, slate ones, but that doesn't necessarily mean I should waste them. And I'm looking for... Oh, Masterwork, that will do. I was going to say I'm looking for um, at least excellent. And these old benches, these old stools can go into my crafting. Um, I'm going to move this smelter, though. Smelter. These old heaters. There. Just trying to tidy up a little bit. Better feng shui, you know?
These should be flicked off. Okay, the convict quest is now timing out, uh, but this is exactly where I'm planning on ending. I hope you enjoyed my efforts to kill off those bugs and turn them into the meat and meals that uh, I needed as a result of that solar flare. I'm sure now that I have an abundance, uh, Randy Random is just going to hit me with a yet another solar flare. That's what he does. But I don't regret my choice of going with nutrient paste meals over kibble or pemmican because it saves me a lot of time. It saves me a lot of rice. Um, and I'll just take that gamble. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I will catch you next episode. Farewell, everybody.